The world has more than 180 different currencies, but none of them are as powerful as the Kuwaiti dinar. It is the worst feeling in the world to go to an ATM and take out $100, but only receive 30 dinars. Let's do 30. That's it! Only 30! I feel like I just got robbed. Tony Man says I can buy a lot with this, so we'll see what I can buy. Before I show you what you can get for 30 dinars or 100 bucks, let me give you some context as to why the currency is so valuable. The strength of any currency is determined by the rate of international market demand. The Kuwaiti dinar is in such high demand because of its wealth of oil. Yes, the country which is smaller than New Jersey controls 10% of the world's total oil reserves. And with such a high demand of oil means that many countries need the dinar to purchase oil which drives up the exchange rate. Also, Kuwait is tax-free which earns them the ability to peg their exchange rate at a high level. In other words, their exports are more valued than their imports, which is something that very few countries in the world can offer. But how much can you actually get in Kuwait for 30 dinars or 100 bucks? Well, the first thing that I'm going to share with you might surprise you. We are rolling up to the gas station right now and we're gonna see how cheap it is to fill up your car in Kuwait. It's crazy to be filling up a car in, in one of the most oil rich countries in the world. 70 liters for 7.5 dinars. That's like 20 bucks for 70 liters. Now let's see how much an average meal will cost you in Kuwait. My friend Soliman and I are heading to a Lebanese restaurant. What is this one? A different type of food. This butter's push, uh... But in Kuwait, the food is so good. So good. You just have a mix of all different people that come here and bring their own yeah. cuisine. Good. Look at this falafel. Mmm. That's money. This is tabbouleh. You have a bill for a quarter? Yeah. What? I just found this out. Look at this. It's one quarter of a dinar. That's cool. The bill was, the bill was 17 KDs. <laughs> Okay, so between the gas and between the meal, that was $100. There you go. So when you travel to other countries, like coming from the strongest I'm always country... comfortable because I'll not be <laughs> rubbed or, <laughs> or disappointed by the, the, the exchange that yes, I'm getting. Yes, you, so. you will never be disappointed with any exchange rate because yeah. you hit the peak. You're yes. at the top. People from Norway, like Norway is a very expensive country and Switzerland, but at least the exchange rate is not like the Kuwaiti dinar. The Corona, Norwegian Corona. Yeah, Norwegian yeah. Corona, yeah. So when you go to a country like Vietnam, it's like... But again, it's not expensive as... Well, okay, you have one dinar, mm -hmm. but this one dinar, what, 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 what are you going to get? Yeah. What, what, what are you going to get with the right. dinar? Okay, if you want to talk about petrol or uh, filling your car, that's a cheap, but other expenses are still cheap here in Kuwait, but outside is expensive. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I actually studied economics in, in college, so I kind of understand this stuff pretty well, but... Just because the currency is so strong, it doesn't mean it's the most expensive country in the no, world. No. Like Norway, if you if you get McDonald's in Norway, it could be fifteen dollars, but here it's like it could eight, be three times more. Three than times more. What I'm paying. Yes. Wait. So yeah. So I guess. But that being said, it is pretty expensive yes, here. Yes. Like. Um. Co compared to, you think compared to Paris? No, come on, Paris is too expensive. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> London, uh, the big city, that all of them are too expensive. Kuwait's pretty expensive though. You don't I, think so? I, I don't think so. No, I don't. No, it's not. But okay. gasoline. I decided it's not. It's not. He says, <laughs> no. but I think it is. But gasoline is very cheap. Because you know, uh, first of all, you need to consider these things. Uh, gasoline is so cheap. Uh, we don't have taxes. Uh, we got the uh, healthcare is for free, medicine for free, schools for free. What else for free? Uh, <laughs> Everything for free. When you die, they wrap you up and put you in a coffin for free <laughs> like everything you don't have to pay for the major stuff so the conclusion is that even though kuwait is the world's strongest and most valuable currency kuwait isn't actually the most expensive country in the world that crown goes to switzerland norway singapore and iceland to name a few i hope after watching this video you get the chance to visit this beautiful arab country because it is truly a gem in the middle east and i will certainly be back again soon by the way, have I mentioned that I'm here in the middle of summer and it's 131 degrees Fahrenheit outside? I am freaking dying. There's a video on my main channel about uh, the world's hottest place, which is Kuwait. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.